Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, for this week, um, I'm going to be covering some of the best hardware that you can use uh, around DaVinci Resolve. And um, I, I've seen a lot of questions on some of the forums I go into, like what is the best hardware, graphic card, whatever, for DaVinci Resolve and so on and so on. Um, and this is one of the best resources to go if you're going to be building or buying a system around a particular application uh, for content creators. It could be um, um, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, uh, render engines like Octane and so forth, um, which is Puget Systems. And I'm going to put the uh, website where you can get more information. And not just for... Uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve as well. Now they build systems around certain applications to get the best performance. Now I'm not saying you have to go here and buy their system. They do all the testing for you and they give you all the information right there. So you could actually go to another computer builder or build your own around all this information. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna kind of go through it. Um, unfortunately, since I'm so late on many things, uh, I have a personal life um, that uh, I can't cover everything. I'm going to cover a lot of it. And of course, DaVinci Resolve covers um, Linux, Mac, and Windows. And not every feature is available for all operating systems. So I'll try to key you in on that. We're going to be covering um, the best hardware for the CPU, GPU, and memory course there is storage and some other minor things uh, unfortunately lacking on time to cover every single little item we're going to cover the CPU first and and it depends you yes you can use AMD and or Intel there are some advantages with Intel I, I usually prefer Intel uh, they're usually better of course they are giving uh, Intel some competition now with DaVinci Resolve um, Dual CPUs you don't necessarily need. In fact, it's probably better using just one CPU. Um, no more than 14 cores. You're not really going to take advantage of more than that. Of course, Amdell's Law goes into place, but I, I cover that in many other videos, Amdell's Law. And if you're using one GPU in this system, um, you can use a mid-level, maybe even an i5. Um, now, if you're using uh, multiple GPUs, uh, you're probably going to need a high-end i7 to i9 Intel processor, for instance. Of course, some people go into, well, should I use Xeon, Workstation, or Consumer? Um, Puget Systems recommends using, uh, it's better using the Consumer version. There's not really much advantage over Xeon as far as DaVinci Resolve and many of the other, well, yeah, it depends. It is also application specific, so I'm gonna go uh, as far as that. Um, now, DaVinci Resolve does support Quick Sync, uh, which gives you uh, hardware acceleration for like um, H.264 and maybe it's H.265. Now, I now I know Windows is supported. I couldn't see necessarily any for Mac or Linux, but they may be supported in future versions. So if you stick with the i7, i9s uh, with quick sync, it may be supported later on. Um, okay, using a course with uh, DaVinci Resolve, you do have the Fusion tab. Now they do build specific systems around Fusion. So you're probably better off looking at that page. But um, if you're gonna be using Fusion with this, uh, which is included with DaVinci Resolve, you're better off with a single CPU with a high frequency and turbo boost. Uh, and so far, it doesn't seem to really take advantage than just a single GPU. Okay, now we're going to go into the GPU section. And this is where I've seen it in many forums. Like, uh, in fact, one said that it only uses one GPU. So you're better off, you know, maybe something else spend your money on, on something else besides the one GPU, and that's simply not true. Um, DaVinci Resolve can support multiple GPUs. I'm not saying it's unlimited. I think it's maybe up to eight. I can't remember the uh, total amount. Now this is what they recommend. Um, 
using t uh, at least two GPUs, you're going to see a 75% performance increase over one GPU. And if you go to three GPUs, you're going to see 50% additional performance over that. Um, they also found going to four or more doesn't really give you much more. And you're probably better off spending money for something else, like a better CPU or whatever, more memory. Um, also going to VRAM for that uh, GPU as well. Um, they suggest um, if you're doing 1080p, you need at least uh, 4 gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, 4K, at least 8 gigabytes of video RAM. And if you're doing 6, 8K, 12 or more of video RAM. Keep in mind, video RAM is at least for DaVinci Resolve is not additive. So let's say you have a dual GPU with six uh, gigabytes of video RAM on each card. It's not going to equal 12. It's not additive because each uh, of the video information has to be copied on the bo uh, all the cards together. So um, just keep that in mind. It's just It's not additive. Okay. It's just whatever. Normally you match GPUs. So whatever that video RAM is for that card. That's what it's going to be for all of it. Um, okay, I kind of covered workstation versus consumer. Uh, oh, I didn't cover workstation versus consumer graphic cards. And I did talk a little bit about um, workstation CPU, I guess, which is a Xeon. Now, as far as what they recommend is really kind of just sticking with the consumer versions that you're not seeing a uh, overall advantage, especially in performance. You're usually better off with a consumer as far as performance price. Now the workstation graphics usually are more stable at the risk of lower, a little bit lower performance. So if stability is the most important key, then you might want to stick with um, workstation graphic card because usually they have the better um, drivers usually okay looking the system RAM um, they recommend a minimum of 32 gigabytes um, for that's up to 4k and usually in all my systems I put in 32 gigabytes for what I do that's more than enough and if you're doing 6k 8k they recommend a minimum of 64 gigabytes um, so that's kind of going a breakdown um, on some of the best kind of hardware. Of course, I know there's a, a brand, AMD versus um, uh, NVIDIA. I, like I said, I, I'm kind of lacking on time for this. And uh, if you want much more specifics, go to the Puget Sound website, which I'm going to put below. And go to your specific application, whether it be DaVinci Resolve or another one. When you go to their system bill computers you have to go to the recommended hardware. Uh, it's not going to be on that page and it will go you to, it'll send you to the relevant testing because they do a whole lot of testing on all their systems to see which is the best for each application. And then once you go there, then it'll give you all the information you need. So um, that's kind of my tip of the week, building specific uh, or buying specific computers around that application. Um, so thanks for watching and see you guys later.